Hey there, my name's Jen and welcome to my channel. This series is my public speaking series. Whether you want to become a better public speaker, whether you are nervous about public speaking, if you are working on engaging a crowd, if you are looking to enhance your public speaking skills, then this series is the series for you. In today's video, what I am going to share with you are my top five tips for public speaking. So let's say you have a presentation coming up for a your team or a webinar or a board meeting or a big presentation, small presentation, whatever it is, these are the five tips that I have for you that will help you feel more confident when public speaking. So let's get into those five tips. Number one, so, all right, you go into the meeting, you practice your presentation, we're gonna talk about that in a bit, and you, you're like, great, got it, I, my intro is fine, I know my name, I know my title, like I know what's going on. It's where you're wrong. The intro is so important. How you open up your presentation is crucial to how the rest of the presentation is gonna go. If you were thinking you could just wing it, think again and practice your introduction. Know how you're, like, are you gonna say, hi, my name is Jennifer White and I am a YouTuber here to teach you about public speaking. Is that what I'm gonna say or am I gonna start with, are you curious about learning how to be a better public speaker? Then you wanna watch this video. My name's Jennifer White and I'm here to teach you some top tips. So you see, I can either say my name first, I can say my name last, but know how you're going to say it. And when you practice it, practice it, gosh, Practice it 10 times because that's like my, that should be my number one really practice, but it's a theme throughout. So my number one tip is to know, own, and practice your introduction. It is crucial, trust me. And once you know it, you feel so confident and good news is you can like reuse it for different presentations. Number two is know your end goal. What is your goal of this presentation? Is it a board meeting and you're trying to convince them that you deserve additional um, dollars to help fund a project that you want to work on? Is it that you are teaching your team a skill set? Is it that you are presenting, I don't know, maybe you're speaking at a wedding and your end goal is to make the couple feel super happy and make everyone laugh and everyone feel warm and cozy. Whatever it is, whether it's business or personal, know what your end goal is. Just know that and you want to include that in your introduction. Number three, and like always, it's not really number three. It's like number one, it's just like third on my list, is practice. Now, I don't know, if you watch my YouTube channel, you may have noticed, I don't know if I've mentioned in videos, I was a former gymnast. I was a gymnast for about 17 years. I competed at a very high level and it was really intense. And in order to get to that level, just like any sport, or musical practice or whatever it is that you have specialized in, you need to practice. And when I say practice, I don't mean rehearse twice. I don't mean five times. I'd say 10 is your minimum. I know it sounds crazy, but if this presentation, if this public speaking event for you is important, you need to practice. And you need to practice in multiple different ways. And I have a whole series that's gonna be dedicated to different ways to practice. But in its most simplest form, what you should do is rehearse your presentation. And I don't mean in your head. I mean practice out loud. Right now, I'm speaking to my camera. I could go back and watch this. You can record yourself. You can stand in front of the mirror. You can present to your friend, your sibling, your parent, your partner, whoever it is, you can stand up and present to them and practice. And I know you're thinking like, oh my God, I can never do that. Like my friend, like they're gonna judge me so much. See, that's the thing about practicing in front of your friends and family. It makes you more nervous than it would complete strangers in a room, at least for me. I've always been more nervous to present in front of my friends, family, and my peers at work. So if you can practice in front of any one of that category, whoever makes you nervous, practice in front of them, and I guarantee you your audience of your presentation, it, it won't be as hard. But by the way, practice a lot. Number four, when you are presenting, do not read off of note cards or a sheet of paper. Please don't, please don't. Please don't read full sentences. I think that that's probably, like don't even write out full sentences. If you need note cards, 
if you don't have like a PowerPoint presentation behind you, then write out topics. If you have a PowerPoint or some sort of a presentation, have bullet points or images where you know exactly what your talking points are. Because the second you start reading, I'm going to do a YouTube video on basic, simple tips to get ready for a presentation. And you need to have a strong introduction, know your end goal. You need to, pro boring, it's so boring. And then it makes you nervous. And then if you skip a word, then you get nervous because you skipped a word. So just like, trust me, this is where the practice thing comes in because if you practice your presentation, you won't even need your notes. But I realize that they are helpful if you want a crutch. I use them a lot. I have some bullet points, I have some things highlighted, but please don't read verbatim full entire sentences off a sheet of paper or slides behind you. Thanks. Number five is slow down. When people get nervous, I do it. Sometimes I talk a little fast. I have done so many presentations and trainings that I now am completely aware of when I'm talking fast. And there's a couple different ways to figure out how to slow down. Number one, it always sounds slower in your head. So when I'm talking like this, it sounds slow in my head. But when I'm talking out loud, it really doesn't. Keep in mind that who your audience is, this is the first time that they've heard what you're speaking about. So you rehearsed 15 to 20 times, right? And you know what happens next. Maybe you, maybe you practice with one coworker in the room. They know what happens next. By the way, they didn't memorize your entire presentation. But the majority of the audience doesn't know what you're about to say. So you need to pause and give them time. You'll know if you're talking too fast because you watched a video of yourself practicing and you know to slow down. It feels super awkward, trust me, I know, to talk slower, but it really helps those in the audience understand your message and it also makes you sound very, very confident. Another good tip for slowing down is think of this one phrase, one person. What I mean by that is let's say you have an audience of five people in the room. Hello, good morning. Today my presentation is about da 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 da. So you wanna make sure to do one phrase to one person and then you will be able to slow down. Let's say you're on a stage in front of like a thousand people. I've been there. It's a little frightening. I know what they said about feeling your heart come outside your chest, but once you do it a few times, I promise you it gets better. Even in a large audience like that, I can look at different sections of the room and treat them as a person. So it's one phrase, one person, I keep going, I'm talking to this group, and maybe I go back this way, and maybe I turn this way, and maybe I look to the front. It actually helps you slow down. It's a really fun trick. So those are my top five go-to tips when you have a presentation that you're looking to get ready for. In the comments below, I'd like to hear from you. What are you looking for in this series? You all gave me some really great feedback during my vlogs about uh, what you were looking for and I have all those plans, but I wanna hear them all. So I wanna help you become a better public speaker and if you need tips, if you need some go-to advice, you can always shoot me a text. I'll put the number in the description box below and I, I will help you out. Just shoot me a text. I'll help you get ready. I'll help you feel more confident. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful and good luck on your presentation.